So I was going to do a video today of State of Decay 2 Heartland, but uh, as you see in the video, when I post it, hopefully tonight, hopefully it doesn't take 26 hours to render, I have a little issue with it, and you'll see why. I have a, I have a feeling that it's my SSD, the drivers of it, or I don't know. Jack Dorsey has something to do with it. Speaking of Jack Dorsey, tech censorship is alive and well. There is no doubt about it. Now, you could say that, oh, it doesn't exist, man. You know, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, it exists. And I'll tell you why. Basically, Project Veritas came out with a uh, video yesterday. Um, they had a whistleblower on it saying that... Uh, there was how they uh, put certain conservative anti-abortion um, pro-life videos and makers on a list, and that this, on that on that list are or pornography sites, and how they show autocorrect. They'll like they'll say like Muslim something. It'll autocorrect to Muslim, you know, prayers or call to prayers or something like that. Jewish, uh, you know. Uh, certain, you know, some of their holidays or something like that. When they say type in Christian, it doesn't put anything. It's put Christian something. It doesn't even autocorrect. And then today, um, well then, immediately uh, how it went, Pinterest unblocked that feature for this anti-abortion organization, then did a 180, and then blocked them for um, negative or unethical or um, unverified medical advice. Huh? And then after that happened, <laughs> Twitter, a.k.a. Jack Dorsey, a.k.a. Mr. Nose Ring Man, decided to go, yeah, we'll ban them for 12 hours for giving out private information. Well, they didn't ban Facebook for giving out private information when they gave information to that one guy who did the video on um, uh, Nancy Pelosi. They get that information right up, but they're not banned. Neither is the, the news organization that, you know, put it out there. So there is tech censorship against conservatives and anybody on the right. Make no bones about it. It's happening. It's here. Confirmed. So you, if you're on the left, you could say, no, it's not. It is, you ding dong. But you, you see, if it was happening to you, you basically... Would, would go, yeah, it's happening to us, man. This is messed up. Free speech, free speech. But then when the right does free speech, they're like, oh, companies don't have to give out free speech. They're not, they're, not, they're not tied to that. You know what? They should be tied to it. I'm sorry. But I am officially, I think I've said it a couple, a couple of videos ago, but I am officially a free speech absolutist. 100% across the board. I don't care what it is. You should be able to say it. Even to the point where it's almost borderline uh, seditious, borderline um, harassment, borderline uh, you know threats and stuff like that. You should. I'm, I'm at the point to where we're... We keep getting, it keeps getting chipped away. It keeps getting chipped away more, chipped away more, chipped away more, chipped away more. Until finally, do you really want the government to get involved in this? Because once the government gets involved, I don't know. I don't know. Because it almost seems like the big tech companies want government intervention in the, in the realm of free speech on their platforms. And they should, they're not, they're not a platform anymore. Let make no, let, let's be honest, they're a publisher. Because they're de they're, de they're, de they're they're determining what you can and can't say. If they're a, that's what a publisher does. If it doesn't like what you say, they can take it off. A platform, meaning that it's basically how I look at it is they set up a stage in a park and they built it themselves. They're like, okay, say what you want. But they're acting. They're saying it's a public. They're saying now it's a platform in the park. But if you say something they don't like, they get up and take and they they pull you off the stage. That's what they are. They're a, they're a private open space. I think that's how it was. Like Zuccotti Park, where that park is a private... It's private land, but... It's private property, but 
it's open to the public. So they call it Peepop or something like that. I think, I don't know. The point is, is that YouTube um, is essentially, they want to ban Crowder. You know they do. But their own terms of services sort of kind of box them in. But like I said, they're just going to change their terms of service. Same thing with Twitter, Pinterest, and all that. They're going to change their terms of service to benefit far left-wing ideology and identitarianism. You know it, and I know it. And they're the worst. 